Welcome back to Brain Date. I'm here at Brain Central checking out the last of the weekly prizes, which was some moustache trimmings from the Gold Brain. And if your name appears on the screen, you've won those. But for this week, what we're going to do is upload a little snippet from all of the winning contestants. You at home are going to be able to register at braindate.com.au and vote on who you think is the best couple. The couple that receives the most votes will win the major prize two nights at the Byron on Byron Beach Resort in Byron Bay. But for now, it's back to round three. Things are very close between all the contestants, but we'll sort it out in this final round. In the final round, the contestants score two points, but the questions, there are no multiple choices and no second chances. And we want the contestants to write down what Australian state they think of when they see this picture. Well, we'll see what the blue brain's made of that. Ben, which Australian state does that picture remind you of? Well, unbelievably, it made me think of Queensland. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Drunken delusion vision of someone who's had too much rum. <laughs> can see a cow with two heads over there and he's just off his nut. He's like, hey, look at the two-headed cow over there. So I think that's where that came from. And Digby, how about you? Um, I'm not going with Tasmania because you can't go wrong with that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Everything seems to come from Tasmania. <laughs> that's where they get A2 milk from, I think, those two-headed cows. <laughs> and Jake, how about you? Queensland. <clears throat> Queensland. Yep. Casey, which state oh, did that make I you think of? Right, that's an out-of-towners perspective, isn't it? <laughs> a rare insight into what other people think. And let's have a look at what Kat said. If she said Queensland or Tasmania, she scores a match. How would you go? Queensland. Fantastic. So you scored two points with both Jake and Ben. Sophia, how do you go? Northern Territory. Northern Territory. In this next question, we're going to get the contestants to write down a number. How many days of the week do you think you should have sex? Okay, we'll start with the pink brains this time. And Casey, how many days a week is right for you? Seven. Seven. <laughs> I think we might be getting a few matches in this round. Cat, <laughs> <Kat>, eight. <laughs> no, I wanted one day off. <laughs> one, to rest and recover so you're better for the other six days. <laughs> to watch right. Star Wars, perhaps? <laughs> 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 so, Mia, how um, about you? I said four, because, yeah, you need to do other things <laughs> with your mind and body. <laughs> Okay, and we'll check the blue brains. So I guess Casey matches with all the blue brains. <laughs> it's, oh no, we've got to see their answers first. Ben? Seven sexy days. Yeah. <laughs> Kat, you can have sex and watch Star Wars at the same time. No, <laughs> <laughs> sacrilege. Well, we'll move on and see what Digby said. Um, I think we should invent an eight day week. <laughs> oh. That's a week. Maybe sex with the Beatles. <laughs> And Jake, how about you? I said seven. Seven, <laughs> fantastic. So you score a point, two points with Casey. Let's check how the scores are going. So there's a few matching couples on four points. In this next question, we're going to play the contestants a sound and they have to say which country they think of. Okay, well, let's check with the blue brains and see what they made of that. So machine gun fire, Digby, what did that make you think? <laughs> Iraq or Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> but Iraq, primary. <laughs> Jake? America. Are we going to have a fight? <laughs> 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 Bring out the biffo. Yeah. Ben, how about you? Iraq or Ipswich? <laughs> <laughs> if Kat says... Any of those, she scores a match and she said, Iraq, fantastic. Tours two points with Digby and they're right back in the thick of it. Yes. Sophia, how do you go? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of guessed. Casey, how about you? Iraq. So there we go, Casey matches with Ben and Jake and we'd just like to bring you a picture of the person who donated that sound for us. Coming into the final question, we've got Ben on six points with Casey and Kat. So let's see if we can separate them with this one. So we're going to show the contestants a video and they have to say what body part comes to mind. Well, 
let's see with the big brains cat. What did you say with that one? Yes. Yeah, yes, I guess that's the obvious one. Sophia? Breasts. <laughs> Breasts. And I Casey? tried to think of something else, but it didn't work. <laughs> Digby, how did you go? Um, I went elongated nipple. <laughs> Jake, how did you go? I said a leg. <laughs> <laughs> leg. And finally, Ben. I'll play a game. How about I cover the word and I'll just show you the drawing I did. <laughs> Do you guess oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ben scores another two points with Casey and with Kat and finishes up winning with both of those on eight points. <laughs> ben actually gets to choose which of the lovely pink brains he'd like to take on the date. Oh. Do I get... Jeez. Can I phone a friend? What's <laughs> wrong <laughs> 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 Yeah, because yeah, we could all make love and watch Star Wars. <laughs> all of us. If they do have sex, I'll be in the corner being the hand Solo. <laughs> <laughs> Someone can be Luke, Claire, and then Han. We've got everything covered. I don't know whether there's going to be room in the kayak for all this lovemaking. <laughs> so, Ben, who do you want to go on the date with? Okay. Well, Kat, it's been very interesting talking to you. I did like our discussion about Star Wars, but I'm afraid I can never turn down an American accent, so um. I'd like to give you the pleasure of coming out with me. Ben and Casey will be heading off in the reliable safety of Irene's corporate limos to the River Life Adventure Centre. Set smack bang on the Brisbane River, the award-winning River Life Adventure Centre provides a variety of activities for fun-loving couples. Rock climbing, abseiling, rollerblading, and plenty of other fun things to capture your imagination. As usual, we'll be giving Ben and Casey a video camera to take on their dates. You'll be able to download this footage as well as up close and personal interviews with both contestants from the Brain Date website, braindate.com.au. At the end of the series, you at home will be able to vote on your favourite contestants. The two winning contestants will each receive a night at the Byron on Byron Beach Resort in Byron Bay. Set in 45 acres of lush rainforest only five minutes from Byron Bay, Byron at Byron will treat the winning contestants to a bottle of bubbly on arrival, daily breakfast, yoga and bike hire. Valued at $500 a night, a prize to be reckoned with. Well that's it for this week. If you want to follow the fortunes of our winning contestants, make sure you have a look at the website, braindate.com.au. There are prizes to be won, videos of what happened on the date, and lots of other things. But for now, it's goodbye, and we'll see you again next week, where the mind games begin on Braindate. <laughs>